right, looks like we're rolling there. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's uh, <laughs> March 22nd, 2020. 21st. When did I say 22nd? 22nd. It's the 21st. 21st. Okay. So a lot of things have changed um, since our uh, last video. Uh, there's the coronavirus, and uh, it has somewhat affected our travels. But before we go there, we thought we'd tell you where we've been. So we left Quartzsite, Arizona, the BLM land, on March 9th. March 9th, yeah. March 9th. And we headed north into Nevada and stopped at a campground called the Calneb Airy. Okay, that's not one word, and I'm not talking funny. I believe it represents the California, Nevada, Arizona campground. Not a bad place. No, not at um, all. It was higher elevation. I think I, uh, in one of my future videos, uh, uh, we'll, I think we talk about 2,500 feet above sea level, which explained the little bit of coolness uh, temperature that we had. Right, right. Just stayed there one night because... Um, we wanted to go and, uh, see something else before we went to Boulder City. Right. Which you'll find out in the video what we want to go see. So, spent one night, and then we went up to, uh, Searchlight, and we jumped on 164, and we ran over to Interstate 15. That's an interesting And ran, yeah. That was an interesting drive. And then ran up 15 up to just south of Las Vegas and then cut over to Boulder City where we were supposed to stay for three nights. Uh, the reason, the purpose of that trip was to go see Hoover Dam, which we'll have in another video. So. Really nice place. So that would have been March 10th. We went to Boulder City. Uh, when you get there, there's actually two campgrounds. One's a state campground with only water, and there's an RV village, which has full hookups. And we chose RV village. But due to the weather, we opted to only stay for two days instead of three. Uh, there were some pretty bad rainstorms coming up from the uh, uh, south of um, Southern California. And they were talking about inches of rain, not just rain. So we said, well, let's get the heck out of here. We know how the rains can be in the desert. There's always flood flood and flash watches. So yeah. uh, we decided to move on a day early. So uh, on the 12th of March, we moved over to uh, a fa one of our favorite campgrounds, the USA Park in Gallup, New Mexico. Right. You guys remember that from last year's video. That's where we actually spent Easter right. on our way home. Then we went on the 13th. We went to Santa Rosa campground. We never, that was first time there for us. First time that we went there. Uh, that's actually located in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. This place was a little hard to find. If you punched in the address, it either took you on the south side of 40, the north side of 40, or if you went to go look up their address directly, it gave you a whole different road name, uh, which got you a little bit closer to the campground. And if I wasn't observant, I wouldn't have been able to look up the road and on the left and said, well, there's the campground right. another quarter mile up the road. So a little hard to find. So if you're ever looking <laughs> for Santa Rosa campground, make sure that you're on the north side of Interstate 40, up at the top of the hill on the left. And it's not a bad campground. Um, it, it had a little restaurant there. They we, did we have had, a restaurant. Uh, we had ribs and it was barbecue. We picked that up and had Well, dinner. by, by then, by, by the 13th, the coronavirus was starting to pick up. Everybody's starting to talk about, you know, uh, try to quarantine in place, uh, limit your socializing right. and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, we, we were paying heed. And we decided, well, if you got good barbecue, uh, we'll just take it back to the camper. So as you can see, that was uh, seven, eight, seven days ago, eight days ago, and we're still alive. So right. <laughs> it, it was good food. And uh, when, uh, our compliments to the chef there right. and his wife. Okay. 
So once we left Santa Rosa, it was time to um, uh, get the rig washed. Uh, we passed through uh, Amarillo and went to a blue beacon mm -hmm. and had the whole rig washed. Uh, they did a, a good job. I mean, it looked a lot better than it did before we got there, but not the best job like they normally do. Well, they were low staff too. Yeah. They, they didn't have their full crew there. And not, well, what it was, it was a brand new establishment. Is that what it was? If you go to Amarillo, they have two within a mile of each other. Right. And this one was the new one. So right. maybe it just wasn't staffed as, as well as we normally see. Um, but we did have no weight. Yeah. No, we didn't have any weight. And it got the, the main dirt off that we wanted. Right. Because we were in quartzite. So we wanted all that dirt off. So You got all that dirt off. Yep. Yeah. So when we left there, uh, we went to Vernon texas um and that park which is called rocking a rv park rocking a rv rocking a rocking a rocking rocking an rv rocking a um they're actually located right next to a walmart i mean literally mm -hmm. you walk around the fence and you are at walmart so we said <laughs> well we better go see what's going on so we went in, uh, we have our own little cart, and we think one of the best things to do is not to be uh, handling shopping carts that are handled by hundreds of people a day. So we brought our little uh, RV park cart, you know, the little wagon with us. And- uh, Boy, did we get some looks. Well, we got some looks, okay. but we were, we were making our point. Um, we went around, uh, sure the hand sanitizer was gone, the to toilet paper was very low, the tissues were low, uh, right. but all the food was there. Yeah. There was and it was really like, okay, there is just a hoarding effect going on right now. Right. Um, I asked about some tissues because a stock, stock person had just uh, showed up with the cart. He said, oh, hang on just a second. He opened up the box and handed me a uh, four pack of the little Kleenexes. I said, hey, that's all I need. And uh, we went on our way, but we got everything on our list, on our wish list. Right. So uh, again, we only hung out there for one day. Um, the next day we made it through Dallas and to a small town called Terrell. Terrell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to the Blue Bonnet Ridge mm -hmm. campground. Nice place. Yeah, it was real nice. Real nice. It was like out in farm country, I guess. Well, it was definitely out in, the, out in the blue, but it was right next to the interstate. All right, girls, settle down. So... You hear the boats out there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we stayed there. We did laundry. Did laundry. We got there. We, it was only a two, three-hour ride, four-hour ride from Vernon. So, we did our laundry. We thought, let's, let's get caught up on that while we have the chance. And we're still watching what's going on with the coronavirus. Right. So far, so good. Right. Well, that laundromat, the, there was a lady in there cleaning it with some uh, wipes, I guess, Clorox wipes. And she comes in every 45 minutes and wipes everything down. And she wiped everything down because I watched her. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So, uh, nice folks there at the Blue Bonnet Ridge in mm -hmm. Terrell. So, finally, we made it to our last destination where we are right now. Uh, we're back at Johnson Creek, um, Lake of the Pines in Jefferson, Texas. And one of the reasons we were even heading this way is because some friends of ours were supposed to be here. But, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, some friends of ours were supposed to be here, but her dad was uh, under the weather, so they went home. And then the other reason we came here is we heard our son was going to be traveling through the area and we thought it'd be nice to hook up with him and have a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, neither one of them materialized. So we said, well, we're already here. Let's just stay here. Now, this is the 16th of March, and we're sitting there going, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen to our destination out in, out in South Carolina. I bet you they might cancel. Well, they sent out a message that uh, they're not closing. They will respect you and give you a full refund if you decide to cancel, uh, which we don't nope. want to do. No, we're not going to tell you where we're going in South Carolina, but we're going. Um, 
Thank you. My eyes at you. Can't touch it. No. Oh, <laughs> you're winking at me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> boy, you're, you're, you're throwing me off here now. I, I was in the middle of something. Don't read your Bible. Just talk. So we found out where we're going is still open. But in case they closed, it would have been too early for us to head home. In fact, they're actually going to have a snowstorm on Monday, the 23rd. So we thought, well, we definitely want to avoid Pennsylvania as much as possible. So we extended here. Now we're here um, until April 4th, unless we want to leave early. So... That was our plan. We had packages coming. We had, I mean, everything was on cue. Friday morning, we get an email from the Corps. Hey, you could stay as long as your reservation was, but we're not extending you, and here's a full refund. And we said, huh? So, yes, they're, uh, they're closing the, all of the Corps of Engineer campgrounds. So, with that being known... Now, we, now we're, how do we get from here to where we, we want to go in South Carolina if all the campgrounds, and, and we had another Corps of Engineer campground uh, paid for, and they told us, don't bother coming, here's your money back. So now we got to look for a place to stay. We're, we're, we're a thousand miles where we need to go. Right. So it's, it's either going to be like on the side of the road, sleeping, make sure we have enough food to get us there. Truck or stop. truck stops, or I don't know if Walmart's still, ex, ex, you know, accepting people to park in their parking lots, but it's going to be a very interesting three days, because we have already determined we're going to try to do it in three days. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we should be okay for at least another week, and then the last two days we're on the road, we don't think we're going to our state campground. Reason being, the state campground said they were closing for two weeks, and then here, yesterday, yesterday. again on Friday, uh, the Pennsylvania State campgrounds have closed completely. So if you close, I don't expect that they're probably going to need campground hosts. So we're we're going to head to our property up there in uh, Glendale, Pennsylvania, and wait it out and see what happens. Um, we're, while we're here in uh, Johnson Creek, we've, we've been keeping our distance from people. We've been kind of like self-quarantining. Uh, if we do talk to somebody, we're staying at least eight feet away from other people. Uh, I mean... No, really everybody's staying in their own space. Yeah, everybody's staying within their own space. We're not, we're not congregating. About the farthest we get is taking the girls for their walk. Yep, we'll, we take them for a walk around the park. Oh, don't say that word. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Not yet, not yet. So um, that's where we've been, and that's what we've been doing. Uh, we are running, uh, like a lot of other RVers, uh, we are starting to have, find problems with uh, places to stay. Um, I think we're going to have to wing it. I think we're going to have to drive, go so many miles, and say, okay, we need to stop for the night. Uh, let's start looking 50 miles up the road and see what's what's open because we're seeing even private campgrounds starting to close now right um, so it's making it very rough and some of you that might be watching this are going why don't we just go home well number one um, we're full-time RVers this this is our home so we we need a safe route or a safe way to get back to Pennsylvania without not having to go um, where it's still cold. I mean, we're not yeah. ready to go home yet. Right. So, uh, we're just winging it. Yep. Uh, with, uh, with any luck, I, we should be successful. Uh, right. we don't have any, uh, major issues or problems or anything else going on. Um, when we do stop for fuel, we don't go inside, uh, the gas, gas stations. Station. Um, and once I pump the fuel, I sanitize my hands before I get back in the truck. So, I mean, we're, we're taking all safety precautions that we can. Right. So, uh, other than that, we hope that some of you are uh, having either better luck or you have better places to stay stationary for a while. 
Uh, but that's that's where we're at right now. We're not complaining. It's not so bad. No, nope, it's just another day. Just deal yep. with it. Uh, as soon as I get this video out, uh, uh, we do have some interesting videos that I'm going to work on for the next week. Because we're going to be here at least a week. Even though we have two more weeks of reservation here, uh, we're probably only going to keep the one week. Unless uh, our spot in South right. Carolina uh, right. gets canceled. If it gets canceled, then we'll go ahead and stay here two more weeks. And then we're going to go straight back to Pennsylvania. Right. Those those are our plans as of right now. So, don't know what else to add. Me neither. Just doing what we have to do, normal. Yep. Just staying in. We say and stay inside a lot, though. We had, uh, like I said, we had packages come in here. The first one made it Thursday. Friday's got refused. And we knew why it got refused because Friday morning they closed the gate. You can't even talk to the gate guard. If you want to talk to the gate guard, he has a phone number on the window and said, if you want to talk to the person inside, call this number. So he's not accepting packages. We had two on the way and one of them we canceled. Well, so, let's not go there. Yeah, I know. I'm bummed about that. Yep. No, but it's okay. So. What can you do, right? Yep. Just go with the flow and wish for the best. So. All right, we're, uh, we're in a remote area if you've never been out to this area before. Uh, so uh, we're not like in a big town and we don't have no intentions to go to a big town unless I have to wrong, run to Longview or Marshall to get some propane. But right now our propane usage has dropped dramatically. In fact, when was the last time we bought propane? Quartzite? Quartzite. Yeah, yeah, it we, is, huh? Yeah, because we were trying to empty some bottles, so we didn't... Yeah, because I had price. a full bottle, and I, yeah. I swapped it out, yeah. Quartzite was the last place, and we still have, uh, like, 45% off of, uh, of off that bottle. Yep. So, yeah, that's use, and that's in more, two though. weeks, three weeks? We use a lot more electric. Instant pot, air fryer. Yep. Fridge, the fridge is back on uh, pro, uh, electric. electric. We're using electric like heat whenever possible. Yeah. Uh, we've only had heat on today since we've been here, and that's because it dropped down in the in the upper 50s. It's a little, got a little bit of a chill on. But uh, anything else? Nope. Let's get some of the videos uploaded. I'm going to work on some crafts, straighten up. Just normal routine. Yep. Eventually, we'll be back at PA, and, and then we get to shelter in place some more. Well, hopefully this will all be getting better by the end of the month. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully by the end of this week we'll hear some some better news. If not, I mean in in two weeks, three weeks we were supposed to be at our son's house for Easter, but if uh, things don't improve, then uh, uh, we're gonna have to keep sheltered in place until we hear something different. Right. I mean, uh, we there's no reason to take a chance. Right. Even though we haven't seen our kids or our grandkids for five months, there's no reason to uh, uh, take a chance of making anybody ill. Right, considering we've been in different places. Yeah, know? we're, we're the ones that we'd be more concerned about. Yeah, and we don't want to get anybody sick. So far, we're fine. I mean, so far. over a thousand, yeah, over a thousand miles. And, uh, you know, and we've been here for a week already, so... Yeah. They say uh, it takes uh, a couple days before you become ill. And we've been watching that. Yep. So, Uncle Bones, we're doing okay. We're not stuck anywhere yet. No, nope, not stuck any place yet. So. But. All right, springtime in Texas. Okay. I don't know what else to add. Nope. Take care, everybody. Wash Keep, your hands. Wash your hands. Stay away from other people. Use your antisocial skills. <laughs> antisocial and, skills. And, eat, and get whatever groceries you can when it's in the store. Yeah. There's no reason to hoard. No. There's absolutely no reason. Go when you need something other than that. You know. Because you know, we might be living like this with groceries on the shelves for quite we, a while. We, yeah, well, we heard it's really bad up up, up in Pennsylvania. Shelves are just like absolutely <laughs> empty. Um we're going to heed that, and when we get to a place that we feel that we're going to have problems getting, um, we'll probably stock up, but we're not going to hoard. No, we're just 
we'll just fill up our fridge like we normally do right when we travel so then when we get to a spot we don't need to run out to the store once we get there we're there for a while wherever you want to get in the movie too so. huh? you want to get in the movie too these girls like it this is their favorite place huh yep they you like that get to nice see the long deer walk and the squirrels and they get to go for their walks <gasps> around the park that's the longest walk you get huh yep it's like, a, it's like a, over a mile to walk all the way around this park we do it once a day my friend Tammy's here. We'd probably do it twice a day. Yeah. But that's okay. Okay. Want to say bye? Want to say bye? Goodbye. Look at the camera. Look say at bye. the camera. Say bye. Bye. See ya.